The Epistle of Ignatius to the Ephesians Chapter 2 Congratulations and Entreaties As to my fellow servant Burrus, your deacon, in regard to God and blessed in all things, I beg that he may continue longer, both for your honor and that of your bishop, and Crocus also, worthy both of God and you, whom I have received as the manifestation of your love, has in all things refreshed, 1 Corinthians 16, 18, me as the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ shall also refresh him, together with Onesimus and Burrus and Euplus and Fronto, by means of whom I have, as to love, beheld all of you. May I always have joy of you, if indeed I be worthy of it. It is therefore befitting that you should in every way glorify Jesus Christ, who has glorified you, that by a unanimous obedience you may be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, and may all speak the same thing concerning the same thing, 1 Corinthians 1.10, and that, being subject to the bishop and the presbytery, you may, in all respects, be sanctified. Chapter 3 Exhortations to Unity I do not issue orders to you as if I were some great person. For though I am bound for the name of Christ, I am not yet perfect in Jesus Christ. For now I begin to be a disciple, and I speak to you as fellow disciples with me. For it was needful for me to have been stirred up by you in faith, exhortation, patience, and long-suffering. But inasmuch as love suffers me not to be silent in regard to you, I have therefore taken upon me first to exhort you that you would all run together in accordance with the will of God. For even Jesus Christ, our inseparable life, is the manifested will of the Father. As also bishops settled everywhere to the utmost bounds of the earth are so by the will of Jesus Christ. Chapter 4 Exhortations to Unity Continued Wherefore it is fitting that you should run together in accordance with the will of your bishop, which thing also you do. For your justly renowned presbytery worthy of God, is fitted as exactly to the bishop as the strings are to the harp. Therefore, in your concord and harmonious love, Jesus Christ is sung. And man by man become a choir, that being harmonious in love, and taking up the song of God in unison, you may with one voice sing to the Father through Jesus Christ, so that he may both hear you and perceive by your works that you are indeed the members of his Son. It is profitable, therefore, that you should live in an unblameable unity, that thus you may always enjoy communion with God. Chapter 5 The Praise of Unity for if I, in this brief space of time, have enjoyed such fellowship with your bishop, I mean not of a mere human, but of a spiritual nature, how much more do I reckon you happy who are so joined to him as the church is to Jesus Christ, and as Jesus Christ is to the Father, that so all things may agree in unity. Let no man deceive himself. If any one be not within the altar, he is deprived of the bread of God. 
For if the prayer of one or two possesses, Matthew 18, 19, such power, how much more that of the bishop and the whole church? He therefore that does not assemble with the church has even by this manifested his pride and condemned himself. For it is written, God resists the proud. Let us be careful then not to set ourselves in opposition to the bishop in order that we may be subject to God.